Once again, I want to say welcome and let us pray. Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity once again to share in your word. Daddy, please let the word profit us today. Daddy, let us enjoy your presence in our various hopes as we share your word today. Bless everyone and let every one of us receive rest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, today will be like a Wednesday, uh, but in our Holy Week discussion, that is the fourth day. The fourth day. And incidentally, that fourth day, there is no record of what Jesus did on the fourth day. And it is generally assumed that he rested after some very hectic days. So today we'll be talking about rest. Rest. Matthew chapter 11, verses 18, uh, 28 to 30. Matthew 11, 28 to 30 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my body is light. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, the first thing we need to know is that rest is so very crucial that even God rested after creation. After walking for six days, he rested. And God arranged for sleep to revive one after a hard day's walk. Psalm 127, verse 2. Psalm 127, verse 2 says, He giveth his beloved sleep. So God wants rest. While rest for the body is important, rest for the body is not as important as rest for the soul. And uh, this is one very crucial time when so many people are not having rest. And that scripture says that you can only find rest for your soul in Jesus Christ. And that rest is a situation where you never worry or fret. And that can be found in Jesus alone. Because we can have rest in him because he knows the future. Acts chapter 15 verse 18 says, Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. God knows everything about your life. In Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10, he says to you, Say to the righteous, he shall be well with him, for he will eat the fruit of his labor. I want you to know that all will be well. God wants us to rest in him. John chapter 16, verse 33. John 16.33 says, These things have I spoken to you that ye might have rest, that ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So I don't know whatever you are going through today. Jesus says, Listen, once you are in him and you are alive his word, Abide with you. you can have peace. You can have rest for your soul. You can be joyful even in the midst of the storm. And um, I think it's very important to just share a few, few of these scriptures again, just to remind some of us who are still a bit quickly. You will remember that one of the key words our daddy has been saying to us at every service is relax. 
God wants me to tell you to, to relax. In Mark chapter 4, a story we all know, verse 34. Mark chapter 4, verse 34. You begin to find in from verse 35. The same day when the evening was come, said, Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him as he was in the ship. And they were also with him other ships. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on the pillow. And they are waking and said, Master, care us thou not that we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? What manner of man is this? The Jesus you believe in, the Bible lets us say that every storm, whether physical, spiritual, natural, or whatever storm, they obey him. If he speaks peace, there will be peace. And I pray for somebody that today, in whatever area it looks like the storm has troubled you, that Jesus, the word of Jesus, will come to you and you will hear him and you will have peace in the name of Jesus. Let a word also come to you. If you are one of those who are actually his, Romans chapter 8 verse 28, he says, we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. Do you love God? Are you one of the called? Whatever is happening is going to work around ultimately for your good. The end shall be okay. That should give us peace. I want that once you have become submitted to his will, it becomes easy for you to commit your future to him. That's why Jesus said very clearly in that scripture, take my yoke upon me and learn of me. It is only those who are joined to Jesus, who are ready to follow him, even when they cannot understand, that can have rest. Let me tell you one or two more scriptures and then we pray. He said in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. Hebrews 4, 1 to 3, he said, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left of us entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as, a, but the word preached to them did not profit them, not being mixed with faith. Then, for we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, I have sworn in my heart, in my, my rod, if they shall enter into rest, although the works are finished, for he spake in a certain place on the seventh day on this wise. God did rest the seventh day from his works. God wants you to rest. Unbelief makes a man to not to enjoy the rest of God. And it is our prayer that we will have rest. John 14.1 John 14.1 let your heart, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Jesus said that word to his disciples who were troubled. He said, not to get your heart be troubled. It's your, it's your work to ensure that your heart 
not trouble. And it is by fixing your focus on the one who said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The one who says, yeah, tomorrow shall be okay. The one who has the power to calm every storm is the one that we expect has said it will be well and it will be well. Is the one who has said we should relax. I pray that today we will have rest on all sides in the name of Jesus. As you commit yourself completely to him and his will. Of course, there is no rest. There is no peace for the wicked. The wicked man is a man who despises Jesus, who refuses to accept the finished work of God in Christ. Today, you can accept Jesus, and he will do a great work in your life. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you one more time for another opportunity today. Lord, I pray. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice, let them have rest physical, rest spiritual, rest mental, rest of their souls. I pray that all will be totally submitted to you and be yoked with you. You said we should put our trust in you. And you said we are working everything out. In this season of crisis, may we hear you and believe you so that we will have rest. Thank you, Father. Jesus name we pray. Amen. So I'll be seeing you again tomorrow at about the same time. presence I am content in your presence I am content in your presence there is light expressions of your light revelations of your power, your might. In your presence I can bring my love song offering. I'm in the presence of my King. Revelations of your power, your might.